This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to be looking at writing formulae of ionic compounds. Here's the ion chart from my previous video. It has a list of all the positive and negative ions that you're likely to come across in IB chemistry. If you don't have a copy of this ion chart, I've included a copy in the worksheet that accompanies this video. So let's try our first example, writing the formula for lithium fluoride. I'm going to show you how to use the crossover technique. So you start by writing the formula of the ions at the top. Lithium forms a 1 plus ion, so we write Li plus, and the fluoride ion is a 1 negative ion, so we write F negative. In the crossover technique, you take the number in front of the charge, so this is a 1 plus, and this is a 1 negative, and you cross it over, and you write it in subscript. If the charges on the ions are equal and opposite, such as 1 plus and 1 negative, or 2 plus and 2 negative, then you don't write the numbers in subscript. Therefore, the formula for lithium fluoride is just LiF. Our next example is magnesium chloride. So we start by writing the formula of the ions, so we have Mg2 plus and Cl negative, and we use the crossover technique. The 2 goes down to the bottom here, and we write it in subscript. And this is a 1, and the 1 goes down to here, but if it's a 1, we don't write the number, so the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. Next, we'll have a look at aluminium bromide. So the formula of the aluminium ion is Al3+, and the bromide ion is Br negative. So again, we use the crossover technique. The 3 goes down to the bottom here, the 1 goes down to the bottom here, but we don't write it, so the formula for aluminium bromide is Al3+. Br3. Our next example is iron 3 oxide. The 3 in brackets refers to the oxidation state of the iron, which is also the same as the charge on the iron ion. So the iron ion has a 3 plus charge, and the oxide ion has a 2 negative charge. So we use the crossover technique, and the 3 goes down to the bottom here, and the 2 goes down to here, so the formula for iron 3 oxide is Fe2O3. Next we'll try barium hydroxide. So the barium ion is Ba2+, the hydroxide ion is OH negative. We use the crossover technique, and the 2 goes to the bottom here. Because it's a polyatomic ion, we have to use brackets. So the formula is Ba brackets OH our last example is aluminium sulfate. The aluminium ion is Al3+, the sulfate ion is SO4-2 negative. So we use the crossover technique, the 2 goes down to the bottom here, and the 3 goes down to the bottom here. Once again, we have to use brackets to separate this 4 and this 3. So the formula for aluminium sulfate is Al2 brackets SO4-3. For more examples, check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet. 